Last week, I went to Preserve Halloween Fest in Irving, Texas. But first, I flew into Houston to spend some time with Miranda and drive up to the convention together. So we decided to take a spooky little road trip. Hey, Miranda. Where are we? <laughs> Somewhere I should not be because I find it terrifying. <laughs> your, your favorite place. Your favorite film. We started at the gas station in Bastrop, Texas. This is the gas station used to film the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Miranda's least favorite horror movie. They've now turned it into a horror memorabilia store, as well as a, you read that right, barbecue restaurant. They have several pieces of film memorabilia all around the property. Miranda, do you want to go get in that van with me? Absolutely not. <laughs> The barbecue was surprisingly good, and we even had the opportunity to take a photo op with our very own meat hook and bucket of sludge. From here, we left and headed to Austin for the night. First, we stopped at the Glass Coffin, an oddities and metaphysical shop. This vampire parlor was decked from floor to ceiling in all kinds of beautiful decor and trinkets. If you're in the area, this is an absolute must stop. After a nice jolt of pure Halloween serotonin, we headed into downtown Austin to visit the Museum of Weird. Their exhibits feature the history of all things strange and unusual, from two-headed cows to sideshow acts.
In the back, they also have a wax museum of figures from all the classic horror films. Next, we headed to the Driscoll Hotel. The Driscoll is said to be one of the most haunted hotels in the United States. Said to be haunted by the ghost of Colonel Jesse Driscoll, who built the hotel with blood money from the Civil War, this place is absolutely beautiful, but also definitely chilling. We stopped into the Driscoll's bar for a quick bite and a drink, and after eating the world's largest pretzel, because after all, everything is bigger in Texas, we decided to pop around for a bit of ghost hunting. As we were walking around looking for a specific painting, I suddenly felt sick to my stomach. I then realized we were outside of room 525, said to be the place where not one, but two separate brides, several decades apart, took their own lives after their weddings were called off. Then we found the painting. The folktale surrounding this is that in 1887, the four-year-old daughter of a U.S. senator was in a terrible accident at the hotel. Samantha Houston was running after a ball that had rolled down the Driscoll staircase and fell to her death. Out of this tragedy, the legend grew that Samantha Houston's ghost haunts the painting of the little girl. It's said that some visitors have stared at the little girl in the painting and seen her expression change. Others report feeling ill when looking at the painting or experiencing a strange sensation of being levitated. All right, are you guys ready to see the coolest thing that's ever happened to me? God. We started the next morning in Waxahachie, Texas, home to the Munsters Mansion. Now, this is not the mansion from the TV show. However, it is a near exact replica built by Sandra and Charles McKee. I want to go to there. You can also tour inside the home. Unfortunately, we came during the off season, so we weren't able to go inside, but don't worry, I'll be back. Finally, we were headed on to Dallas and made it to our final destination. When we got to our hotel, our friend Bailey had already made the place a bit more festive and homey with some Halloween lights. Then the three of us were off for a night in downtown Dallas. We met up with some spooky friends. We went to the exchange and I had a delicious poke bowl. We met up with tattoo artist and fellow Halloween lover Kate and her sweet baby boy Casper, as well as our friend Kinsey. Kate and I have been longtime internet friends, so it was so cool to finally get to meet her in person. One of my favorite parts of traveling is always meeting up with my spooky friends from all over the country. Then it was finally time. We checked in at Preserve Halloween Fest. We spent Friday just kind of checking out the convention center. And I also got to go to Count Gordeval's panel. Count Gordeval is one of the last living original television horror hosts, and so it was amazing to get to hear him speak. Saturday was full of all kinds of fun. We met all kinds of cool cosplayers. We got our shop on on the vendor floor. And we got an opportunity to meet some of the celebrity guests. I had my photo op this day with the cast of Hocus Pocus and I almost cried. It was so cool to see Max wearing his tie-dye shirt. After this, we spent the majority of the afternoon in panels, including our own. 
I'm going to include a few clips here. I'll keep the movies alive. You know that, right? You, you all are the reason most of these movies are still talked about. So we really appreciate you all. Wiccan consultant on the film, Pat Devin was her name. So Farooz and I were the two people who were interested in the subject matter. Um, so we went to a Beltane festival and attended stuff with Pat so we could kind of, you know, get an over overstanding of things. Um, Nev and Robin were like, whatever, it's a movie. <laughs> so. <laughs> Are you recognizing folks? Yes. Talk to Sterling E earlier. We exchanged recipes. Hi, Sterling. How are yes. you? Yeah, cool. Doing well? Yes. We're excited to have you here at Preserve Halloween, but we are even more excited to have you here at our Q&A panel with Spooky Little Halloween. Also, that was Miranda. You don't, have to, you don't have to be formal here. You can call her Miranda. I thought you were going to say you don't have to clap. <laughs> <laughs> Please, clap. You do absolutely have to clap. Please clap. And uh, the lovely Midge Monster. Woo! So we are delighted to have these spooky little ladies here with us today. If you are new here or unfamiliar, these two ladies are marvelous Halloween content creators. And so we're going to kind of talk a little bit about what that looks like, how Halloween content creation works, and then if you guys have any specific questions, we'll get to those. Like when Facebook started becoming really big, everybody was always like, oh, Midge, Midge, like tagging me in every Halloween post that ever existed. I was like, oh, I'm the Halloween friend. Like I didn't, I didn't even think about it really until like I started making content. It's the cast of Halloween. I'm keeping them apart because they keep it all handsy. Oh my gosh, I didn't think about that until just now. Yeah. Uh, this is a pleasure to have y'all here this weekend. It's like a little family reunion going on. It is. I'm, yeah, this it. is really it stoked. Is. Everybody up here is like, bring them out and stop talking to us. I know. <laughs> the evening was spent at a karaoke after party. Not only do we get to sing karaoke with Allison and Binks, but we ended up heading to the bar with them afterwards for margaritas. It was a crazy evening that I will not soon be forgetting. Overall, this was such an amazing trip. I got to be a convention panel guest for the first time. I met so many amazing people, and I saw so many wonderful things. And as these conventions always do, it left me feeling inspired and with a full heart remembering why I love Halloween so much. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Until next time, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye!